A few things that you're going to need to do the project. The first is a 9 volt snap connector. Um, you, I got this. This is a 5 pack. You can get it at Radio Shack for approximately $250. It comes with 5 of them. You'll just need one for the project. Next, you're going to need an Altoid small tin. Uh, you'll have to buy, obviously, unless you have a friend that has an empty tin or you have one yourself, you'll need to buy it. It's about $1.50 to $2 at the grocery store. You'll need a 9 volt car adapter, car charger. I got this one at Joann's Fabrics for about $5. If you go to a gas station or a fabric or hobby store, you can get one of these for pretty cheap. You'll need some just electrical tape, a 9 volt battery, uh, any type of rubber band will do, and then some form of multi-tool. Uh, just this little one works for me. So that's all the items you're going to need. Now let's go on to the project. The first thing I like to do is I like to cut the corner of the top and the bottom of the tin. And what I do is I... Uh, just use my little multi-tool here, and there's a trick to this. And basically what you're cutting is this area right here, and that's where the USB is gonna go in. So I'm, I'm gonna let me show you how I do this here. It's pretty simple. All you do is you start where you want your edge to be, and you're just gonna twist like this. There you go. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that around the entire tin. So I'm gonna do it now, and I'll come right back, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it's going to look like after you've cut it. You see there's a nice little gap there. It still closes. Now we may need to bend the tin a little bit later on, but for right now it closes nice and secure. Uh, if, I don't know if I'm sure you can see on camera here, but I've actually bent over um, so it's not sharp. And also you don't have to just use your uh, multi-tool and twist it. If you have a cutting tool that's going to work for this, obviously use a, uh, a more efficient tool. Um, but for those of you who don't have a cutting tool, just use what you have available. A uh, pair of pliers will work, Neil knows. All right, so now on to the next step. The next step is to tape the inside of the can. Now the parts that I'm gonna tape on the can are the bottom right here, and then also the inside right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape that and show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's what it looks like after I've taped it. Basically, taping it just ensures that nothing touches the metal tin that's not supposed to. I've also taped the edges of where the USB is going to go in just to make sure it's not sharp. Let's go on to the next step. So the next step is to take apart the car charger. Now, a lot of them don't, but this one actually happened to have a little micro screw right here in the top of the charger. So I just used my Leatherman Wave to unscrew it. And all you're going to do is we're going to take this thing apart. So what you're going to do is carefully take a tool and slide it underneath this little metal cover here. And you're just going to pop it right off. And then from here, what you're going to do is just pop this thing apart like so. As you can see, it just comes right apart by putting your tool in the crease. It comes right apart. Now there is a spring in here, so we're gonna do this very carefully. There we go. Now what we're looking for is this piece right here on the inside. You're just gonna take this part off so all that matters to us right now is this little piece right here. This is where your positive current's gonna go, and this is where your ground's gonna connect to right here. So next, what I've done here is I've stripped both of these wires to about a little over half of an inch, and what we're going to do is we're gonna take this piece here, and we're gonna take our red, and we're gonna slide it underneath the back of this metal piece right here. You can see that? Then you're gonna wrap it around, and you're gonna twist it. So now it's permanently connected, okay? If there's any excess, just make sure it's not hanging off. Go ahead and twist it on. Now what we're going to do is on this end, you're gonna go ahead and fold this piece in half and twist, just like so. And then as you can see at the end of this wire, there's gonna be a little, almost like a knob where you bent it right there. That's gonna come in handy here in a second. The next step is to connect the connector to the nine volt. And we're going to put this in the tin now. Now you may need to bend the outside of the tin just a little bit, I'll show you here in a second. So the nine volt's gonna sit in the tin just like this. Your USB is gonna go in with the pokey side towards the battery. And this is the part where you might need to bend the tin just a little bit, just to make it fit in there. Just like so. You're gonna want the edge of the USB to stick out just a little bit here. And there's a reason for that. And your wire, your red wire is going to be twisted and fit right here in this little area. And your black wire is going to also go down there and then you're going to run it 
down the inside right here, just like so. And now when you close your tin, it's not gonna close completely, and that's where our rubber band comes into play. So just take your rubber band, and the only time you're ever gonna take this thing apart now is when you need to replace the battery. And it looks like I've picked the longest rubber band possible. So there we go. There is your USB charger. Now let me show you how to use it. Okay, so now that you have your charger complete, we've got the phone out and our cable, and I'm gonna show you how to use this. All you need to do to use it is take your black wire and you're going to stick it into this little slot down here. And then remember that notch I talked about? If you stick it in there and pull it tight, it's gonna fit right there and fit nice and snug, just like that. So now all you have to do is plug in your phone. You see it turn on there. And it's broken, but you can see it charging right there, hopefully. Oops. And there you go. That is the Altoids Mini Phone Charger. Okay, so that's how you make an Altoids Mini Phone Charger. Um, I just want to show you, as you can see here, it's much, much smaller than a normal Altoids tin. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video and be sure to share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, you can post it in the comments below and I'll answer any questions you have on making these things. Thanks for watching. See you later.